Welcome viewers, Jin and Juice log again to Warframe. Now, a little hesitant on doing a recording on games I usually play on my own personal time, because that kind of takes away my, um, my sacred place, I guess I should call it. The thing where I can just relax and don't worry about having to talk as much, and just focus on playing the game, you know? But, uh, I don't know, this game is pretty popular. And I, I do think this game is pretty cool, even though it has some strangely clunky controls. <laughs> but the theme is cool, The all the textures and graphics are really nice, and it's, and it's free to play. They have a lot of content. I, I actually would recommend playing this game if you go past certain little nitpicky stuff like for me, I still don't like this side shoulder third person view. It needs to be overhead so you can see both sides and the head. If you put the camera low and to the side, your character model might block the view. And that's really a problem that for some reason developers have forgotten. Let's start out with showing my build. Okay, so I still have my basic default Warframe, the Excalibur. I have it upgraded with Speed Holster as my Aura mod. Uh, I'm still working on upgrading my uh, Vitality. All it has is plus 240 health. Of course, I have Flow for more power. Steel Fiber for more armor. I mean, no always to have some more defense. Another thing to note real quick, I'm going mainly for a melee build. But I also use my other weapons just in case there are stuff like flying enemies or if getting too close is too dangerous but I mainly focus on melee. This is what I am. So yes, I have reflection so I can reflect damage back when I'm guarding with my melee weapon. I just put intensify real quick to give it more power strength. Quick rest, stamina recharge. This is really important because since I'm focusing on meleeing, it actually uses Way too much stamina, in my opinion. Everything you need to do takes stamina for meleeing. If you slash, you have to use stamina. If you guard stuff, you have to use stamina. You have to move around a lot too, so if you're sliding, if you're sprinting, if you're rolling, you take stamina. I also have natural talent, which improves the casting speed. And the last one is streamlined for power efficiency. Next, I have the Attica. I usually just use a regular bow, but a crossbow with its fire rate helps me do more DPS, so that's really important. I only have 30 capacity on this. I want to save my formas and my um, catalyst, I think it's called. The potatoes. You guys, Warframe players would know what that means. For this, I have Thunderbolt. This is the main one. It'll give it a 30% 30 chance, 30 chance to explode. With that, I have split chamber, so I have multi shots. 90% chance, so instead of shooting just one arrow, most of the time I'll shoot two. I have fast hand for reload speed. And for this, I put health fighter as a, an extra heat damage. For my subs, I use Q knives, because, you know, <laughs> I like being a ninja, whatever. Alright, so, first one I put Gunslinger. Gives me fire rate, so I can throw knives faster, obviously. To uh, complement that, I have uneven agility, that increases my fire rate even more. But it slightly decreases my damage. But not to worry, I added Hornet Strike. I'm also still working on upgrading that, but that increases my damage. I have no return, because Puncture is its main damage. And Quick Jog, faster reload speed. Nikana. It is what it looks like a katana weapon. With this weapon, to match its polarity on this stance, I have Blind Justice. It is also considered one of the best stances for the Nikanas. I have Fury, of course, so I can attack faster. Always important. To complement that, I have Berserker. I have it at rank 4. I'm not sure if I should bring it to 5 yet, because from what I hear, you can only stack it up, up to 75% max. Pressure Point, of course, increases damage at that max. Simple enough. Reflex Coil, channeling efficiency. This is kind of important. I'm working on getting a a very particular mod. I haven't gotten it yet. I have to get it in the dark sector. I, I'm looking for life strike. It's when I channel energy into my weapon, I, I regain health by attacking stuff with my channeled sword. Two steel. 
this increases my critical chance. This goes along with Berserker because you have to get a critical hit in order to get that Berserker buff. Shocking touch because I like electricity on my weapon. <laughs> my, my melee weapon that is. It's a little theme I'm going with. And smite infested. I have this on for now because I'm going in a dark sector and those are those have infested in them. Therefore, I will just take off my primary and secondary. All I need is my melee weapon. So I'm going to change my aura to steel charge. This will help me increase my melee weapon damage. Alright, now that I'm in game, I can tell you about the heads up display. I mean, radar right there is fine. A little small for my preference, but I can always change the H the heads up display scale to fix that. But the problem is the placement of my my health shield and stamina bar. It's at the top right corner. I pretty much have to take my eyes off the nearly the entire screen, and I do have a big screen. It's 32 inches diagonally. That's a big screen, so I have to move my eyes all the way to the corner off the important part the combat where everything's happening just to check my health shield and stamina that's really bad my usual placement for those things would be at the bottom of the screen it's relatively towards the center all i have to do is look down real quick and look up same way i do with typing how hard is that not that hard my abilities and powers is at the bottom right also just as bad but mm, but it's even worse because now I have two separate user interfaces that should be together in one spot. A friendly spot at the bottom. That's that's like that's a really serious nitpicking that I'm doing, but it really affects my experience. It's really important that I can see my my um my situation immediately so I can react quickly. But let's, let's get past that and show you the amazing speed of Blind Justice. This is the guard attack. It's really fast. All he does is a whole bunch of diagonal strikes and then ends it with a slam. Oh my god, just look at how fast I can direct it with just melee. It's, it's so crazy. Imagine when you build a, like, an extremely overpowered primary weapon and people have done that you can do like a hundred thousand damage for a hit and it's ridiculous it's just so fun to slash at such high speed and high damage with such a flashy golden light oh making a matching aesthetic to your preferences is it's a really important part in gameplay experience I mean, it may get limited by some things like this, the, the game's lore or um, like game mechanic, but to an extent, if you, can, if you can accomplish at least half of what you wanted to do in a game, I think that's pretty good enough. This is just insanely fast. Imagine this with a heavy slow weapon like the Galaxy or the Shindle Prime. I might get this Jingle Prime for that maximum damage. Combining it with Fury and Berserker. Oh my god, that would be, that'd be a weapon of mass destruction. But they're not, they're not usually my types of weapons aesthetically, so... I don't know. Not too high of a chance that I'll get it. I may get it for the, for the sheer power of it. Because that's always a good reason to go for something. If it's really powerful. <laughs> Don't let others tell you otherwise. If it's a powerful weapon, it's a powerful weapon. That's all there is to it. Whether you use it well or not, it's still a powerful weapon. If you use it well, of course, it would just be all the much better. But I don't know. There are some people who will call you like a try-hard scrub lord for using the absolute top best statistics ever. Because, I mean, I can see what they mean, and I, I've seen it personally myself before in, like, PvP games. Like, the, the fact that they have super powerful weapons would get to their head sometimes, and they'll start degrading on their personal techniques and skills.
skills just because they feel like they might not need it. And most cases that's true because they already have a super powerful weapon that can do the work mostly four down. And they just use it even the most basic ways, but you know, there's going to be people out there who might have the same exact things as you do, and, and they won't throw their punches back. They're not going to pull punches. They're just, they're just going to go all, all out on you. Especially if they have the same statistics. Like, if you have the same stats as them. If they, like, if they want to reign their dominance over people, they have to reign their dominance over the people that are pretty much like them, or even better than them. And they, they'll pretty much have to stop at nothing to achieve that. It's a basic principle of competitive gaming, I guess. This is not to say that your attitude should change to be better or worse. But I'm saying, at, at least hopefully it's not a bad attitude where you you are that guy saying, oh, you're a try-hard scrub lord. Like, why should that matter to you? It, if he has a good weapon, you know, if he has a good weapon and you don't. Sounds harsh, but you know, that's, that's, that's just a basic reality. But that really turned it back to you. Like, the most important thing in a video game, in my opinion, is to have fun. I think that goes for any games, really, not just video games. In sports, even if you're playing competitively. I mean, maybe being competitive is what is fun to some people, but if you're not having fun, why are you doing it? Oh, are you a masochist? Masochist, I don't know how it's pronounced. Not that I'm being condescending towards masochists either, because... Shit. At least they're doing what they like, right? Right? But, yeah. My main point being is that if you're not having fun, you should probably stop doing that. Just for yourself. Take my advice like a grain of salt. Or a grain of rice for me being a ninja. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, come on. It's not bad advice, is it? Like, to have fun. Do the things that you like instead of the things that you don't like. It just makes sense. Right? Doesn't it? Just, just, why, why do you depress yourself? Uh, that's always the one thing I don't really exactly understand. And it... And I guess it's because people aren't realizing they're doing that. I don't know. God, is this gameplay or is it just me ranting? Oh, I'm almost done with the tense wave, so... I'll probably end it pretty soon after that. But yeah, you got a small taste of how I play this game. A very, very small taste. Because <laughs> it's just me with my melee weapon. Once I re reach rank 8... I will make it a dragon Ikana and make it even more powerful. It's one of the most recommended weapons of melee, so I will do that soon enough. But until then, I'm just gonna have to level up and record it once, once I get there. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Log in! <laughs>